Now, failure is failure. Even if we have got one seat, or two seats, or three seats, who don't have really mattered. What, what mattered is that we did not perform well, and because we did not perform well, we must get our act together. And we are sitting down uh, this week, the entire of this week, getting our eggs together, looking at what we did not do right. And I am very, very confident that uh, we will come up with a, a formula, a strategy that will take us uh, to victory. Um, it had nothing to do uh, with uh, our relationship with uh, anybody. After all, our relationship with Zanu PF, our relationship with the Triple C was irrelevant because we were contesting each other. So even if we were smiling at each other, we were still contesting. We were still going to be uh, uh, um, uh, vying for the same voters and so on. So our relationship with uh, anyone was irrelevant. Um, dialogue, yes, we remain committed to dialogue and uh, we will push dialogue with more vigor. And we are fortified by what happened in this election. That dialogue is really, really important. Uh, remember, uh, there were incidents of violence, uh, uh, politically motivated violence um, in Epworth, uh, in Gokwe, uh, in Chikwewe, where we actually had a loss of life. Um, because of the election, we had uh, also uh, good strategic uh, potency uh, gives us the confidence. We got our strategy wrong um, and somebody was saying that uh, how come you get you got strategies wrong? And here's my answer. Lionel Messi misses a penalty, doesn't he? Maradona misses a penalty, doesn't he? So strategies can get strategies wrong as well. So um, uh, Tony, thank you very much and uh, I'm happy to see you here. Um, the MDC has always said that it is prepared to work with all progressive forces for the total liberation of our people, for the uh, total democratization of Zimbabwe. Um, and uh, we remain open to work with all democratic forces, all progressive forces, and already in the, in the alliance we are working with some uh, and so on. Uh, regarding uh, specifically uh, Advocate Chamisa and his team, uh, a lot depends, of course, uh, on, on them, on their attitude towards us. Uh, there is nothing really personal uh, between myself uh, and, uh, and Mr. Chamisa uh, as, as people. Uh, there is nothing personal about it. And uh, after all, what is, important, what is important is not what I think about him or what he thinks about me. What is, what is important is what Zimbabweans do want. And uh, we will um, uh, wait to see what will happen uh, as we go uh, with this journey towards 2023. Okay. There, there are two issues in message. There is the message. There is the dissemination. I can't teach you. Uh, you are the journalist and do not. Um, uh, we want our message to get to the people more than it got right now. And uh, we are going to do those things that will make us perform better next time. One thing I want to leave with you is that you cannot write the political epitaph of the MDC. Uh, it is very alive, it is very well, it is very kick, it is very it is kicking and it is capable of winning elections. And we are working towards winning these elections. This temporary setback is past us, and we have forgotten about that. And we are looking into the future. We are looking into the future with the intention to win the election in the future. We have come from the disadvantage before, uh, and we will come uh, from this uh, disadvantage uh, again now. Thank you very much. What, are, what gives us the confidence, number one, is the behavior, electoral behavior of the MDC throughout history. The electoral behavior of the MDC throughout history is cyclical, up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, in 2000, MDC went very, uh, it, was, it was up, 
it almost won the majority in parliament. In 2005, it went down. In 2008, it went up. In 2013, it went down. In 2018, in the presidential race, it went up. And in this by-election, it has gone down. Uh, and we are confident that uh, it, will, it will go up uh, come next election. What is important is that uh, people do not go to vote. Um, uh, the mobilization of people to go and vote uh, did not uh, seem to work. And we are confident that we will be able to mobilize our people to go and vote. So we will be able to come up with the specific strategies that we are going to be using. Uh, Mavunga, you ask what went wrong. What went wrong, of course, is that uh, there was too much apathy. We did not redress the issue of apathy. Uh, theoretically, uh, <coughs> if everybody in the structures of the MDC uh, had voted in Harare, um, you are looking at an average of uh, um, uh, 128 officials uh, per ward, uh, 46, 46, 46. Um, and one way or the other, some, for one reason or the other, those people did not go and vote. So the greatest problem was apathy. We are also going to be looking at other things like uh, messaging, uh, other things like the particular strategy that we, we adopted in this very election, um, which was different from the strategies that we have used uh, traditionally. Uh, we thought it was a novel strategy, um, and I'm sure that uh, when the, uh, the elections department and the, and the chairman's office... Uh,